So over here, you can see that I have a database table. And let's say what we want to do is we want to create a visual chart off of the data that we have right here. So in that case, what you need to do first is create a report out of the data. So I'm going to go around on to create right here. And then I'm going to click on report so that a report is generated, as you can see. So over here, this is the report. So let me just go around on to the design view, because that is where we need to be in order to create a chart. So I'm going to just uh, drag this out because I want to add the chart over here on the footer area. So what I'm simply going to do now is I'm going to go around into design and over here you can see that insert modern chart is an option. If I were to click on this, then here you can see you can insert various charts that you want to um, go around and add. So let's say I'm just going to go around on to a clustered column chart right here. Let me just click and drag out the chart area. And over here, what you can do is you can select either table queries or both right here. So I'm just going to go around onto tables itself and select, let's say, expertise right here. So once I do that, you see the expertise, as you can see, and everything is actually arranged out by default. Well, let's say I want to arrange it out by price, then I can select price right here, as you can see right here, and I can choose around different lens according to how I like. So let's say I want to go for expertise, for skill right here or price right here, just like this, then you, well, you can set it out according to how you like it. So I'm just going to go around over here and select out how I want everything to be displayed. And over here, now you can see everything is actually being um, uh, sorted out by count of expert ID right here and sum of ID as you can see right here. So let's go around into price and it uh, arranges everything out as price as you can see right there and everything arranges out just like this. What you can also do is you can go around, insert out other charts. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to go around over here onto a pie chart right here. You can click and drag around the pie chart and select out the table right here. So let's say I'm just going to go around and select the expertise right here. And if I were to go around on the skill, let's go around over here and you will be able to see uh, different things as you can see right here, depending on what you actually do. So let's go to expertise right here, just like this. So you can go around over here, select out price and so forth, and the charts get um, uh, get get um, uh, generated just like that. The pie chart, as you can see, is getting generated over here uh, as per the data you choose. So depending on what you need, you need to select out the data just like that. So uh, that is how you can work around with creating of charts inside of um, uh, inside of MS Access. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.